Before we break for lunch, I want to invite Dave Thomas to come forward. We have uh, a special, something very special, where we want to honor someone that's been very dear to ASRS. Thank you, Dave. We are setting aside a few minutes here this morning to honor Alden Thompson. Alden was a native of Lewiston, Idaho. His childhood was spent in Medellin, Colombia, South America, where he tells some interesting stories, including one of surviving a forced landing in a DC-3. The plane had to be put down in the river. The passengers survived, but the plane was lost. Alden, uh, subsequent to coming back to the US, graduated from Upper, Upper Columbia Academy and then from Walla Walla College, at which point he received a very interesting letter from the department in which he was told that uh, professors had some concerns about his level of maturity, even including the word some of his behaviors were childish and they hoped, they writ in writing, they expressed the hope that marriage would help him in the process of maturation. Um, Alden uh, went to seminary, then pastored for a few years, and then was called back to Walla Walla in 1970 to begin what would be 50 years of teaching. Um, he had two years in um, Scotland earning a PhD in Old Testament. Um, very interestingly, he, uh, during his teaching career, undertook a very detailed and comprehensive study of the 10 volumes of the testimonies. I don't know anybody else who ever did that but thereby gaining a very comprehensive understanding of Adventist history and the life of Ellen White. Um, that set him up to many years of teaching history of Adventism at Walla Walla, and also got him started into what I think is, is probably his most fascinating uh, journey, and that is the detailed study of the process of revelation and inspiration. I think everybody in this room knows that he wrote a book which may have been the most carefully scrutinized book ever published by Adventists. He told me once that 32 people reviewed his book Inspiration before the Adventist Review published it. And as his dean for 17 years, I marveled at how his ideas saved the faith of some people and aggravated the daylights out of others. Um, I think it's remarkable that he has uh, not only survived, but thrived on uh, about 40 years of being in the midst of what probably will be known as the most controversial aspect of uh, Christian theology. That's a little brief reflection on Alden. He's a good man. He's a church man. In fact, I think he has sat in one particular pew in the university church for so long, he could probably claim ownership of it. Uh, he's also a personally devout man. For many years, he was the chief facilitator of early morning worship on our campus, 7.30 in the morning, Hubeck Chapel. People would gather to sing hymns, have a scripture read, and then there would be group prayer before we went off the day. So, Alden, I'm delighted to have had you as a colleague and still to have you as a friend. And the announcement is a very interesting one. Due to the insistence of his students, former students, a fate shift is being prepared for Alden. Those of you who know Alden will be absolutely delighted with the title. The title is this, The Philistines Are Upon Us, a faith shift in honor of Alden Thompson. It's being announced this year. It will be available next year. So Alden, my friend, congratulations. You are deserving of honor. And I think Michael Campbell has a little more to say. I want to add my word of commendation and congratulations to Dr. Alden Thompson for just an incredible uh, life of scholarship as a model scholar. Uh, there's been a number of times that I've encountered, I think the first time I remember is, is his book, Inspiration, was on the banned book list at the school where I went, and you had to kind of ask for it behind the library counter like certain other publications, but we managed to, some of us managed to eventually read that, and I found it to be a very probing study of Adventist thought and inspiration and how to relate to Ellen White that began to challenge my own thinking and what that meant for the church. I started at, the first time I remember meeting you, Alden, was probably here at one of these ASRS meetings in the hallways and beginning to rub shoulders, seeing you at SBL and AAR. 
as a engaging scholar, sitting in various sessions, sometimes very different topics, but always asking very cogent questions uh, that revealed that not only were you familiar with your own field and, and the field of Adventist studies, but a wide, vari a, a wide variety of topics and that you kept current with the scholarship. One of my fondest memories was sitting at a SBL some years ago with John Brunt, and you were there as well, along with a few others from ASRS, sitting there listening to N.T. Wright talking and having a lovely discussion about uh, some of the meaning uh, and significance of that. More specifically, when it comes to Adventist studies, um, this last year and a half during the midst of COVID, I started rereading through the review through the early 1980s, looking at the development of ideas from the late 70s through the early 1980s for a couple of different projects I was working on. <clears throat> and I stumbled across your earlier version of your articles in the review that where you began to flesh out some of the, these ideas for the very first time, what would eventually become your book, Inspiration. And as I went through and reread those, I thought to myself, uh, what... An incredible gift that you have given to the church through your thoughtful scholarship um, in a time when our church was really wrestling with inerrancy and what I would probably call Adventist fundamentalism or neo-fundamentalism, helping to push the church to take these ideas seriously and what they actually really mean for us. And the subtitle, of course, of your book is Hard Questions and Honest Answers. What I love about your scholarship is not only are you able to keep up with the latest research and, and writing yourself, but also you always remain firmly rooted in a, uh, a practical uh, pedagogy with your students that you've engaged with uh, through the years. And of course, I deeply love your 2005 book, Escape from the Flames, from sharing your own uh, personal experience and narrative of uh, your development of your, your ideas and applying these under this understanding of inspiration and what it really means for Ellen White. And so I consider you not only a model scholar, but also a Christian gentleman and truly a great champion in our church of Ellen White. Thank you for the gift of your scholarship to the Seventh-day Adventist Church, to ASRS, and to the, the broader field of Adventist studies. I'm hoping that we can actually hear you if you'd like to, to say a few words, Alden. I want to thank those who have uh, participated today. The sound system wasn't ideal, but uh, in fact, I heard most comments twice. Um, well, I want to say that my main claim to fame is that I've been 50 years all at one institution. Um, and so, uh, but uh, I really miss you folks. Uh, if it weren't for high sensitivities to COVID, I would be there with you now. And just seeing the faces of all my colleagues uh, is really, uh, um, really warms my heart. Um, I don't know that I have a great deal more to say, except uh, thank you very much for this uh, special uh, treat. And uh, I'm hoping that I can be back with you next year. Please be assured of your deep affection and love from your ASRS family here, and we look forward to having you back uh, next year.